Okay, so um, bring your knee up to your chest. You're going to do this on both sides. So interlace your fingers around your knee, pull it up to the same shoulder fairly firmly and release. And again, and release. Do about five to 10 of those and then go to the opposite shoulder. You can alternate, so same shoulder, opposite shoulder, okay? And then using the opposite hand, put your hand on the other hand on the floor, so right hand to left knee, and bring it across as far as you can. Get a good stretch through the lower back and the muscles down the side of the thigh and hip. Hold for a few seconds and relax. Keep your shoulders flat on the floor, and then straighten your leg out. Same on the other side, five to 10 at least to each shoulder, you can alternate. And then opposite hand, so left hand to right knee, bring it across, stretch out through the back and the head. All right? And then from there, especially on the left side, but do it both sides, interlace your fingers behind your knee, push your heel up towards the ceiling, hold for, pull your toes back, heel to the ceiling, hold for a couple of seconds, and then relax off a little bit. Keep holding. It's not hard, it's not terribly hard work, it's just a big stretch up the leg, really good for the sciatic nerve and for stretching the hamstring and taking the pressure off your lower back and hips. And repeat that about five to ten times. So you can push fairly firmly, and it's quite uncomfortable, but you're only holding it for a couple of seconds. And again, repeat it on the other side. Interlace your fingers, heel to ceiling, relax. Heel to ceiling, toes back, relax. Do it twice a day, morning and night, all of that. Okay, good.